What is up guys, Ram Hunter one here and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh number 45. Once again we are on Dev Pro because that is where all the cards are at. And today we are covering another uh, another new archetype in the Judgment of Light set and it is Super Defense Robo. Now this archetype revolves around Earth type machines and they're pretty... The three main monsters for this archetype are pretty weak monsters, if you ask me. Uh, 1200 attack, 1600 defense is one. Uh, 1400 attack and 2500 defense is the other one, and that's actually a level 8. And 800 attack and 1200 defense is the other one. So I'm just quickly going to go over these cards as well as their XYZ, and then I'll give you like my overall thoughts and stuff on them. So first off we have Super Defense Robo Leo. When this card is normal summoned, you can spell summon one Super Defense Robo Monster or Orbital 7 from your hand. Once per turn when a Super Defense Robo or Orbital 7 is added from your graveyard to your hand, you can special summon that monster. Uh, then we have Super Defense Robo Monkey. When this card is normal summoned, you can special summon one defense, super defense robo monster or up to seven from your hand. Once per turn, you can banish one machine type monster from your graveyard, target one super defense robo monster or orbital seven in your graveyard, add that target to your hand. And then we have super defense robo elephant. When this card is normal summoned, special summon one super defense robo monster or up to seven from your hand. Once per turn, you can target one super defense robo or up to seven you control. That target level becomes eight. This card cannot be used as XYZ material except for the XYZ summon of a machine type monster. Ah, well, um, so they they only work for themselves really, and I don't know they. I wish this Super Defense Robo Elephant wasn't a level 8. I wish its effect was it could boost itself up to level 8 as well as another monster. And then, of course, only be used to spell summon a machine type monster. Because they are pretty difficult to summon. I mean, yeah, you can normal summon just someone from your hand. I guess that's how you get them out. Um, let me cover the XYZ, which I really like, actually. I really like its name as well Garbage Eyes Fat Dragon. Once per turn, you can detach one XYZ, mater XYZ material from this card. This card gains 1,000 attack into your opponent's next end phase. So its attack is 3,000, 2,500 defense. That boosts it to 4,000. Uh, I can't really think of any monster off the top of my head that has over 3,000 attack, which you really need to get over. But anyway, if this card is destroyed while it has XYZ material, you can banish one Super Defense Robo Monster from your graveyard, special summon this card from the graveyard, then attach one Super Defense Robo Monster from your graveyard to this card as an XYZ material. This card I really like. I wish it wouldn't work uh, with the Super Defense Robo Monsters on its own, you know. I wish um, I wish you could banish a machine type monster and then attach another machine type monster to it. I think it'd make it a much more uh, useful and versatile card because. Obviously Yu-Gi-Oh has archetypes and obviously we need to have cards that work with only those archetypes or they'd be uh, too overpowered. But I think things like this, Garbage Eyes Fat Dragon, I think if you just change those Super Defense Robos to machines, it would be a lot more versatile and it'd be much more fun, you know? Could we could use it with um, Gimmick Puppets is one that comes to mind, obviously not the uh, obviously not the Necro Doll because she can only summon Gimmick Puppet XYZs, but just the other ones in general. And even yeah, it could work with her because you can just banish her, summon it, and then attach another XYZ or another uh, machine type Gimmick Puppet to this card. I don't know. It's uh, I wish they wouldn't do that. I mean, I wish they think a little bit more before they attach certain cards purely to one archetype. Overall, for the Super Defense Robo archetype, I'm not a big fan of it. I don't know why they've slapped Orbital 7. It must have something to do with the um, uh, with the anime, because uh, the XY, uh, I'm sorry, the Orbital 7 works with Photon and Galaxy monsters. So, Garbage Eyes Fat Dragon isn't even a Galaxy. Neither are any of the Super Defense Robo monsters. Not a big fan of this archetype, if I'm honest. I don't see this archetype getting much play except for um, uh, opening days and like pack opening, sneak peeks, whatever you want to call them for the uh, Judgment of Light set. 
I don't see the Super Defense Robots getting much play after that. I don't think it's a very good archetype. I don't think it's a very fun archetype either. And just like, um, just like the War Gods, I'm a little, or War Gods even, I'm a little bit disappointed. Yeah, so, uh, not the best. Give it a rating. I'll probably give it a 1 out of 5 if I'm completely honest. No idea. It's no idea why they put Orbital 7 with them. Um, really disappointed that Garbage Eyes Fat Dragon doesn't just work with machine types on its own. And just, I just don't like the Super Defense Robot archetype. Just in general, I don't think it's very good. But anyway, guys, those are just my thoughts on the archetype. Remember to leave yours in the comment section down below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, remember to give it a like rating and subscribe for more videos. Again, guys, this is Round Panel 1, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.